Yo, what's up, beautiful people? It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm back again with another video in Otunfo City. That is Kumasi. But today I'm joined by a fine gentleman. I mean, he looks like a millionaire, but I'm gonna talk to him and find out whether he indeed he's a millionaire or not. Hi. Hey. Santino. Maya. I thought this area is called Santino. I never knew that. You, uh, are, the, you are the real Santino. You know? Because we are doing some right things over here. <laughs> Santino, let me know. Who are you? Who am I? My real name is Pabina Intim, born in Ashanti, Kumasi. Mm -hmm. And raised up here, I went to Prempe College. And then, after Prempe College, I went straight to the US. Yeah, Minneapolis, Minnesota, of all places. <laughs> and, uh, and went to college there, you know, studied, did an undergrad degree in biochemistry, and then did a master's degree in business. And um, how long did you stay in the United States? Wow, well, uh, about 22 years. 22 years? Yes. And after 22 years, you decided to come back? Decided to move back to Ghana. Why would you do that? Because I know people are telling me that, no way. Yes way. <laughs> yes way, because yes. Ghana, Africa is the new frontier. You understand? We, the people who have had an opportunity to get such a wide education, I thought should come back and do what they call technology transfer. We have to apply what we have studied and the experience we've gotten in our own motherland. This is the new frontier. The, the United States of Africa. This is what we are aiming for. So, uh, I'm ready and I've been ready. And I came to Ghana and set up as a farmer. As a farmer? As a farmer, a livestock you, farmer. I mean, you left the United States to come to Ghana to be a farmer. Yes. I don't want to disrespect you, but I feel like a lot of people out there might think that you're crazy. No, very sane. <laughs> very sane. Let me and why, why would you say it's crazy? No, because in our education system, if you ask any kid that, do you want to be a farmer? Missing a one and a or a had a real school or a farmer. One and a pro could be a bear farmer. That is how it is for the emperor farmer. Farming skin. There's yeah. a lot of money in farming. Come on, can you can you tell us why someone should invest in farming? Because you are doing it at the moment. Because we have the land. We Ghana is a teeming population going over 34 million. Everybody eats one or two square meals a day. Who's going to provide that food? Are we going to import all that food into this country? A God-given agricultural country like Ghana? This is one of the countries in the world that you can grow maize three times a year. Three times a year. So we need some form of mechanization. We need some form of improvement. We need some form of technology transfer. And the sky is the limit. Let me tell you something. In, in the 1980s, Obasanjo, when he was president of, uh, of Nigeria, signed an executive order to prevent um, imported chicken coming into Nigeria. In that instant, he created over 200 millionaires. Ask me why. Now the onus was on Nigerians to create the opportunity to sell these products. You live in Minneapolis. I live in Minneapolis, a city of... And that you know George Floyd's case right now. Absolutely. Do you have something to tell your fellow, I mean, African-American brothers? This is the very reason I left the United States to come back to Ghana. I could not understand why there was so much disrespect for the black man, for the black race, for the black human race. I saw myself as an endangered species in the United States. Wow. Yes. And then I, look at, I looked at my intelligence and the capabilities that I could bring to bear here in Ghana. I'm respected here. I, I see my fellow brothers and sisters every day. A sea of black faces, beautiful people, beautiful brown people who appreciate the things that we can grow here and eat. The key thing is that we have to grow what we eat. Let's stop all this importation. 
let's stop the importation of foreign cultures. I came to Ghana, I saw Indians, I saw Lebanese, I saw Syrians, I saw Chinese, and they are loving living here. Why should me, a person from this motherland, go and live somewhere where there's total disgust and disrespect for the being of a human that I am? So I'm saying to my brothers, come to Ghana, come to West Africa. It is a wonderful place. There are huge, huge opportunities. So, I and mean, we have to use our intelligence to make these opportunities. I want to know, yes. do you miss America? No way. There's nothing in America that I miss. What are you saying? I'm telling you. <laughs> that because my family is there, my wife is still there. So occasionally I have to go there. I, I cry before I go. I get on the plane and go. And the maximum I can go is just two weeks. And I'm aching to come back. Why would I leave this paradise to go into that hell hole? You know? I, I get in my car and I drive confidently on the street. This man sitting there is a police officer. Wow. Yes. And he's, and not, he's not here to shoot you? No, he's you? not here to shoot me. <laughs> he's coming to visit me as a friend. You understand? So, what do we call our own? If you're living in America now, what do you call your own that you're so gratified with that you go on the streets and you're walking and you're afraid? I can't breathe. In Ghana, you can breathe. You have all the beautiful air. You have all a sea of beautiful black faces. Yes, you can breathe in Ghana. But Santino, apart from the farm, when I came in here, I saw Santino restaurant. Yes. Is it part of the farm too? Yes, it is. We are doing what you call farm to table. We want people to have what they call traceability. In the next 20 years or so, if you are eating and you don't know the source of where your food is coming from, you could very well be poisoning yourself. You understand? And we have established a system where the, the animals we are growing, we grow chicken, we grow uh, pork, and then we also have beef. We decided to process all that meat and, and, and bring it to the table here. Wow. So here is a meat shop with a sandwich and salad bar. So the meat shop meaning you can buy fresh meat, clean, less than 24 hours old. And then with the sandwich and salad bar, we take some of the processed meat like our sausages, the burgers. Today you are going to have the best panini burger that you've ever eaten here. I, I just can't wait. Yes, lovely think, burger. Wow. You bite into it and you tell yourself, wow. So in there is the burger. You have fresh vegetables and you have wonderful mozzarella cheese. And then the whole thing is toasted, panini mm. style. This is it. Listen, I've got a lot of African diaspora watching us right now. Yes. Some are contemplating, is Africa the place to be? Is Africa the place to go and invest my money? You are doing it. So yes. I believe that you know you have the right message for the African diaspora out there who are looking forward to invest their money in Africa. What are the things that would, would, you would love to tell them to invest their money into? There are so many different avenues and, and opportunities mm -hmm. that I see here in Ghana. For instance, agriculture and agro processing is huge. On the West Africa corridor alone, we have over 360 million people. Wow. Who is going to feed all these people? Are we going to import the food? Would COVID-19 allow us to import food? And if we're importing food, what is the assurance that that food is not contaminated? But you are living here in Ghana. We have sunshine. We have rain throughout the year. Exactly. The, the, the opportunities are incredible. We, the people who have been entrepreneurs here for a while, in November, Santinos will be 20 years old. Yes, we have the template. So consultation and coming with a drive and intent that this is the new frontier mm. is going to help any investor who makes that attempt.
you know what? We have Africans that were born here just like you yes. that are living in the diaspora right now who thinks that no way we got corrupt government in Africa. So definitely I'm not going back to Africa to those places. Is that do you have any message for such people? Everywhere you go in this sphere of this world, uh -huh. there's some level of corruption. Thank Look you. at the structural discrimination that is in the US. Thank you. That is damning than anything else. We don't have that here. If you have a good business mind mm. and then you are straightforward in your business dealings, by all means, you are going to prosper. Amazing. Let's give Africa a chance. Let's give ourselves the chance to make Africa shine. You understand? What a beautiful country. I, I, everything you put in the ground, it grows. So in me being a livestock farmer, we started a huge value chain. We have people who have been contracted to grow maize for us. Wow. We have people who have been contracted to grow soya beans for us. We have people who are supplying us with rice bran. So we are utilizing just about everything that is available to feed these animals. How organic is that? You understand? And for instance, I'm a, pot a poultry farmer. I, I buy a day old chick. And in six weeks, that bird is ready for the table. Delicious, succulent, fresh, natural, less than 24 hours old. I mean, we have to nourish our body, right? Exactly. And, and what else would you want? So, we established Santinos to give confidence and set the precedent that it can be done in, in Ghana, in Africa. And we are doing it. So we are opening our arms to our brothers and sisters out there. If you can, make that move and we'll give you the template how you can be successful in Africa. I mean, Santino himself will give you the template how to be successful in Africa, not me. So definitely, Santino, you have to tell us your location and that if anybody comes to Kumasi, Absolutely, you know please. Find you. Yes, we are located at Stadium Road which is the road that leads to the stadium. If you're coming from Accra, you take a left on the stadium room, you come up the hill, you see Santinos to your right, on the first turn on your right. And we are here and we are ready to give you quality food straight from the farm to table. That is, it is it is it's a beautiful thing. And I, I, we are inviting all of you. I can see that Santino is really passionate about what he's saying. I'm very passionate. <laughs> very passionate and I love living saying. in Ghana. <laughs> I, I'm a king here in my own country. Amazing. Yes. I get up with a smile on my face as I'm going to work. I live on my farm. I walk from my house to my farm to go to work. I only come here to do administrative stuff. And every time I come, there's delicious food ready right here. I just can't wait to go to your farm tomorrow. Yes. Um, so I just want to tell you guys that you've heard from the horses on Mar. I know it's not me who is saying it because this time around, I'm going to find people who are based in the diaspora and now back in the continent doing something good for you and I. So you know what? I'm going to see you in the next one. And by the way, I'm going to see you in his farm tomorrow. Santino, thank you so much for talking to me. Do you want to add any message, final message to each and everyone out there watching us? Yes. Okay. God is great. Africa is beautiful and black people, we are wonderful and very dynamic. We need not be intimidated. We need to call our own so that we can make it our own. So take that chance, come to Ghana and come and see what is going on here with Santinos, with our Samoan Yama farms. We have, we have a diverse group of people who are doing wonderful things here in this country. And this young man, I'm going to give him a panini beggar right now <laughs> so he can talk about it more. All right.